it's basically selecting a shape of a signal, adding noise to it, and uh, there's a detection algorithm, in this case a fuzzy logic algorithm that is used to detect the original signal. And obviously we've increased noise, it becomes uh, harder to detect the signal. So currently we are replicating this in Python. This is what the application front panel should look like. I also save this image and drop downs as expected. Now we have the actual uh, HTML in the uh, template folder. Some uh, papers that the ChatGPT plugin, uh, this is plugin called Scholar AI, found some serious prediction of driving motion scenarios using. Yeah, I don't know about that. Interval type 2 fuzzy aggregation approach combining multiple neural networks, clustering prediction, time series. Yeah, it's a lot of uh, robotics, time series prediction, and anomaly detection with recurrence spiking. It works. Let's check if these links are legit at all. IEG.org is a legit website. It's a legit. Yeah, it's a conference. Confer uh, conference. Great. Uh, this is what the um, Google Scholar gave. Yeah, obviously, forecasting financial time series. It's not quite the topic of my YouTube channel. I'm sure this will get a lot of views. Yeah, I'm interested in how they did the comparison between uh, the two. How do they even measure performance? We can do it with uh, past uh, data. Currently, we're just sticking to prediction quickly. Can I have some template for the JavaScript? It's a bunch of errors. So we're already including Plotly. Yes, it is a great tool. Thank you. Input graph, output graph. That's right. So there are two of them. So I need to make sure they actually... The, the noise amplitude is important. It's the noise. So the JavaScript should take this noise amplitude and generate a waveform out of it. It should have a basic shape based on the input window. It's still kind of in a template stage. Yes, we are doing a Flask application. We have an index HTML. We have a method that will be called using a post uh, HTML request called analyze. And it will give you the result. We should have the data actually coming uh, from the back end from uh, Python. Getting elements from the HTML. The output wave signal. Well, what we currently have doesn't work. So we might as well replace it. The error went to away. This, by the way, not the uh, EEG. This will be more basic stuff. Let's check the... <laughs> Don't tell me we have 56 uh, errors. This will be like a fake EEG. It's still time series uh, data. It's loading forever. I mean, later we can add the uh, other shapes to it as well. That uh, might be more... EEG relevant, like a spike. Can have an envelope of a spike or slow wave uh, EEG. And this particular tool is uh, using fuzzy logic to try and detect this signal. Currently, all right, we have to update this HTML because we actually need the charts uh, in it. We're actually using GitHub Copilot, which meant to be GPT-4. Uh, okay, no, I meant with the charts. We need the charts visible. We have charts. And no, it's the ID output wave, input wave. Now the input wave is already there. That's the drop down menu. We actually need the chart as well. So we do have the input graph and the output graph, but we don't see them. Where are they? The input and output graphs are not displaying anything. How do we fix that? Plotly library is correctly imported. Yeah, Plotly library is loading forever. Don't know why. Check if the data is there. I suspect there is no data. Check noisy signal. Update input graph. Log noisy signal to console. Generate signal is not defined. I never understand this uh, main.js 4222, 4222, which one is it? If I'm not having that uh, 
labeled by the linter it's a template isn't it need to replace this yeah this should be a function yeah, it's all templates so far the error should go away okay there's something wrong with the loading time uh, where's the network no those those errors are actually okay yeah it's loading the uh, plotly so we do have the data looks like it's overlaid on top of a sinusoid yeah we can add noise just great and the output is not doing anything because we don't have that functionality yet the cdn seems to be loading forever well, forever it's eventually loading but it's way too long and it's meant to be a mini version of it as well the other problem is obviously the output yeah the, the the output shouldn't be a selection. It definitely shouldn't be a drop down menu. It should be an output, right? So okay, let's change that. I mean, it, sh it could be an input only if we are training, but we are not training at the moment. Uh, should we change it? Yes. Label for output. Yeah, output data is not updated. Okay, we need to update for output wave so in html we have that okay and in javascript update output data it won't work but okay because we don't actually have the output data we also don't need this constant so the output should be displayed as text that won't work would it output wave okay we actually need the input waves to work properly are we generating the functions in python code or a uh, javascript it's a key to generate them in javascript i uh, want to do as much as possible on the front end so my server is not overloaded and we can add the sign so it's as well and square works and they have a triangle default is still sine wave a uh, case a uh, left trapezoid doesn't work square works and there is no output don't have those functions do it no graph is updating we have the noise everything doesn't work um uh, ends up being a sinusoid and there is no output the analyze doesn't do anything anymore does it yeah that's just a mock-up Generate signal, add noise, analyze signal, calculate detection error, calculate the no unknown percentage. That sounds much better, doesn't it? Why couldn't you just do it to begin with? Not dropping frames anymore in my stream, but JavaScript is loading forever. Put wave is empty. Detection error is always zero. Send unknown is always zero it's like you want to display the output wave detection error and unknown percentages for html let's check html control output wave we already have that detection date output in javascript function do we have this function okay it should be better it makes sense having an error in javascript and 67 that's where the error is from yeah those are just templates that doesn't work place your actual code to calculate a no percentage it shouldn't be signal noise signal it should be input and output it should be using fuzzy logic yeah, okay python code should do a uh, fuzzy logic right fuzzy uh, logic library yeah this is not quite right it's just an example that's a good start to install this library so when it's not noisy it's getting 2.5 it's noisy it's getting something else yeah we need to change yeah yeah so the one one good the uh, thing about labview was not using it anymore mainly because of the cost of the license but it had that 
toolkit for designing uh, fuzzy logic so this uh, membership functions essentially it's taking out the features from the signal one thing is for sure output wave we would predict detect input wave what the values should be the same we can simply return the input wave yes we do want to perform the fuzzy logic uh no that would not do it the issues with the labels should have left them as they were so it's giving me the sinusoid i don't know why yeah we need to the fuzzy rules is more than just a template so originally i think it was uh, looking at three senses but this example is better because it's actually taking out the features still having some technical issues with the tool itself it's actually became worse the output this output wave should be a text obviously you get a lot of errors let's get this quickly so the length of uh, symmetry universe is 100 problem with this array doesn't have a length in it it's actually an error that's as you can see it's a float 64 anyway we'll have to troubleshoot it next time i'll see you later bye